This is Long Context Port, and today we are benchmarking NVIDIA's Resize Bar Port. Alright, so NVIDIA went a different route than AMD with the Resize Bar Port, with an AMD GPU Resize Bar or Smart Access Memory is enabled across the board. Well, with a 6000 series GPU anyway. NVIDIA, on the other hand, has chosen to enable it only in the games that benefit or games they deem benefit from Resize Bar. Most of these games happen to be very popular benchmarks as well, and I'm sure that's a coincidence. But uh, anyway, this might sound like a good idea because this way you will see a performance uplift in the games Nvidia has to whitelist it, and you won't get a performance lost in the games that perform worst with Resize Bar enabled. The downside is that you may lose out on some performance in games that do benefit from Resize Bar, but Nvidia hasn't whitelisted yet. And there is actually already a workaround for this, but we have not used it for this round of benchmarks, so some of the games here are on the whitelist and some are not. This was done to see if Nvidia had support for more games than they listed. And we only tested 5 games, which is not a lot, but we also tested these games on the RX 6800 with SAM enabled in another video, and we will compare the performance loss gain at the very end. But for now, let's get to the test system. The CPU used was an AMD Ryzen R5 5600X on a B550M Pro 4 motherboard from ASRock with 3600MHz memory running with XMP timings of 1890-1936. Now, let's get into the numbers. Starting off with the Seto Corsa Competizione here at 1080p, 1440p and 4K, we see pretty much identical performance with resize bar on or off and this makes sense as it is not on the NVIDIA whitelist and if we look at the numbers for the RX 6800 we can see the same result. This game does not appear to benefit from resize bar. The next game is on uh, NVIDIA's list and it is Battlefield 5 and here we see a 1% increase in performance at 1080p and a 6% increase uh, at 1440p which goes down to 4% at 4K but at least we see a performance increase in this title. Also on note is that the frame times took a hit at all resolutions with resize bar enabled for some reason. Moving on to the next game, this is Cyberpunk 2077, so this game is also on Nvidia's list of supported games, and this is with ray tracing disabled, but with ultra settings at 1080p we see a 6% increase in performance. Moving up to 1440p that increase is down to 2%, and at 4K the performance doesn't really change noteworthy. Rainbow Six Siege is next and this game is not on Nvidia's whitelist, but we did see a notable performance increase with the RX 6800 with SAM enabled. With the 3070 however there is no difference, which is a shame, because this game does seem to benefit a decent amount from resize bar support, although the performance without resize bar is plenty good enough. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the last game we tested and this one is not on Nvidia's list, but judging by the RX 6800 result, maybe it should be. In any case, there is no performance difference here with resize bar on or off with the RTX 3070. Now let's take a look at relative performance and compare it to the RX 6800 results. With resize bar on, the 3070 gained an average of about 1% performance across the board. Uh, this would obviously be higher if I had included more games that were on Nvidia's list and this is quite a bit lower than for the RX 6800 which gained between 3 and 6% increase in performance on average. In conclusion then, the resize bar support does help in some titles on the 3070 but I do wish they either enabled it for more games right off the bat or made it easier for users to enable support in games they have not tested yet in games that Nvidia has not tested yet. That way the owners of these GPUs, few though they may be, could enable and test performance themselves instead of relying on Nvidia. That way the owners of these GPUs, few though they may be, could enable and test performance themselves instead of relying on Nvidia. The inspector workaround is an option for more advanced users, but it would be nice if less advanced users had an easier way to enable or disable resize bar. And that's all from me for now, thank you so much for watching and uh, farewell.